Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Props Edition of Daily Action Picks. I'm Joe Delera, and I've got three of my favorite prop bets for today's NBA slate. The first game I'm going to be looking at is the Utah Jazz versus the Boston Celtics. Uh, and I'm going to be looking at Rudy Gobert and his rebounds. Um, his line is currently set at over and under 12 and a half rebounds. And I honestly just think that this is one rebound low. Uh, I understand that both the Jazz and the Celtics play at relatively slower pat paces in the league. And the Celtics have the best adjusted defensive rating in the league. But I think that this is still a spot where I want to back Gobert. Um, the Jazz have the second best rebounding rate overall in the NBA relative to Boston, who is just at 12. And the big reason is Rudy Gobert for that. Um, he's hit this line in 71% of his games this season. One of his misses, though, was against Boston, but he did secure 12 there. So I think that 12 and a half, I think he should be able to get this. Uh, it's just well below his season average line of 14 and a half. So I'm going to back Rudy Gobert to go over 12 and a half rebounds against the Boston Celtics. For my second and third picks, we're going to actually be looking at the same game. And that's going to be the Timberwolves versus the Suns. One of the things here is the Timberwolves play at one of the fastest paces in the league. Uh, they have a top five mark in the league. And this is a pace up spot for both uh, the, Suns, uh, the Suns, obviously, and the Timberwolves. So one of the things that I've noticed here is over the past 14 games without Chris Paul, we've seen a pretty significant uptick in usage for both DeAndre Ayton and Devin Booker. One of the things that's most notable for Booker is that you see his assist total spike and he's spending more time on the court with the ball in his hands and he's able to either capitalize for himself offensively or help set up his teammates. And that's been great uh, for DeAndre Ayton as well. Um, basically, in all of those matchups without Paul, he's being leaned on a little bit more offensively. He's seeing an increased role in the offense, and his point total is set at over under 16 and a half. He's hit this in seven of his last 10 games and 10 of 14 overall without Chris Paul. Uh, and plus, he's had relative success against Carl Anthony Towns. He scored 22 a little bit earlier this season against this Timberwolves team, and I like this spot for DeAndre Ayton to go over his point total. Now, looking at Devin Booker, as I mentioned before, he's seen a pretty massive uptick in usage without Chris Paul. And his points, rebounds, and assists line is something that I want to target just simply because of the amount that he's being leaned on for his assist rate. And he's seeing more time on the floor, more opportunity to get rebounds. And he's gone over his line of 38 and a half points, rebounds, and assists in seven of 10. Uh, so like I said, even though the Timberwolves defense has been excellent lately, this really hasn't stopped Booker against them specifically. He's hit this in both games against the Wolves this season and four of five dating back to last year. So without Chris Paul, this Suns team is really leaned on these two stars. And we're gonna be taking DeAndre Ayton to go over 15 and a half points and Devin Booker to go over 38 and a half points, rebounds and assists. So those are my three best bets for today's NBA slate in terms of the props. And you can follow me on the Action app. You can follow me on Twitter, both at Joe Delera. And let me know if you're riding. Let me know if you're following. And uh, tune in every day for more free daily action picks.